2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Southern Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Look, this player is trailing currently, but let's face it, there's so much golf left to be played. I really think if they stay the course and continue playing the way they are, they've got a great chance of getting a victory here. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Playing from around 190 yards out. Opting for the five iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. went down good mid-range putt this one an 18 footer Ouch, that hurts. Bogey putt coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. Starting the round above par today. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Wow, that was just striped. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. heading to the rough for mine. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the eighth hole, and this is Gary Woodland's next shot. Chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Looking really good. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Getting ready to play their third.
nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And now at plus four for the event. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. That's not the outcome they were after. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. If he makes this, he'll save his par. This is a good chance. And in it goes for the par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, check this out. Showing us how it's done from the sand. Almost. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot here at the fourth. And choosing the eight iron here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Now this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Yeah, the line was pretty good, but the length, that was loose. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Seven feet to the cup. This one started out on a good line. 
And this next putt here is for a double bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the fifth. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a pretty handy shot. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Air mailed the green with that approach. Didn't that look good for a long time? This putt is of nine feet. Oh, so close. Three feet to go here to the hole. It's half a chance of being hold this one. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. Sitting at seven over for the event. And moving down the leaderboard as well. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Handy effort, that one. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Left yourself an opportunity. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Let's head out to the seventh hole. Sitting at two over par. Oh, and that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. Okay, let's get back to the action. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This putt looks to be about 33 feet. Ooh. That's not your best effort. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. In it goes, and that's unfortunately back-to-back -back bogeys. You're making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And that's a little disappointing, dropping some spots on the leaderboard. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the seventh.
This one's for Birdie. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. Putting for par. Well done. Now, current leader is up by three shots. Just a couple of play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Going with the seven. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. And coming up well short. close was that to going down he has this putt to save his par yeah, nothing to sweat over that one we'll hold here's Matt Kuchar's shot This putt will move them to three under par. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. And that will take him to three under. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Let's take a look at Cameron Champ from earlier. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Oh, that's a cracking good shot, as they say over there in UK. And back to the course with the live action. It's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. That's it. It's okay. And here we are with the third shot. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Close to the surface here, and the green side rough. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? 
Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Judging it beautifully. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Well, Rich, uh, this is tough. This player's battling to make the cut, and it's cut day. How nervous are they right now? Luke, right now they're so far below the cut line, it's going to take a miracle for them to stick around. This one from about 160 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Eleven feet to the cup. It's got a chance. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Currently at plus eight for the event. We find ourselves on a par three here. to have chosen the seven iron. Let's have a look at this highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. I gotta say, he is not afraid to go beautiful. Great putt. Let's return to live play now. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Yep, well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Oh, that is crushed. Always think about taking one more club when playing to an elevated green. Getting ready to play their third.
four feet to the cup. Ooh, nice line. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Nicely hold. Okay, let's get back to the action. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. What a great stroke. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Not a bad line, this one. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. Can you believe this? This is right out of fantasy land. Holding out from that distance. What a shot. That's now five over for the tournament. You've arrived at a par four. Coming off an eagle at the last momentum on their side for this player. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. This spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Uh 
That one's come up short. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Well hold. Let's have a look at Matt Cooch's shot. Mm, John, what's this one looking like? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. Oh, my God. Nasty lie out of the rough, but look at this in the hole. Can you believe it? And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is up by three shots. This hole is a par three. Seems to have chosen the three wood. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. This would be a great par putt if he can make this. Good putt, that. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Not bad. And now we go to the 18th, and this happened just a moment ago. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? Nicely done from close range. Let's get back to it, shall we? They brought their bucket and spade here, Rich. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> well, a little off the target with that one. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. And here we are with their four. Hey. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. 
And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings. That's for sure. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Oh, great swing there. Getting ready to play their third. Playing their fourth shot. Ooh. Why not take another look at that effort? There you have it. I'll be pleased with that, just sneaking through the cut line. Absolutely. Always out there fighting, trying to make the cut. Doesn't really have the ball striking this week. However, there's still a chance you could win this tournament. you got to have a good round tomorrow and certainly follow it up Sunday. But listen, there's still a chance. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.